Hello, in this video we're going to go through a create table script using PHP and a MySQL database. So, oftentimes we create databases from the PHP MyAdmin panel, and that's a fine place to create tables, but there's a lot of good reasons why you might want to write a script for it. Namely, um, there's this pretend little world of XAMPP where I do my development, and I want to create my table here and interface with my table, but at some point I'm going to want to put this table online. And wouldn't it be great if I didn't have to go through the process of manually recreating that table online? Especially because if you do something that's just a little bit off, uh, then your script's going to work. So I'm going to show you what a create table script looks like. So at its heart, this is just a query and it's just SQL, but there's a good chance that you're not an expert in SQL. Maybe you don't understand the process real well. So I'm going to show you how this works. So here I've got a valid connect script, some database called cheeseball. And so as with every other query, the first thing I'm going to do is create a little variable called SQL. And this is going to be a big, ugly string. And this string is going to be where I'm going to create a table. So I'm going to write all my SQL keywords in uppercase. So create table. Uh, now I need to make a name. Let's call it products, right? Those things that are kind of like variables that I name subjectively, those are lowercase. I open up a big parenthesis. Um, if it helps you to better understand or understand things, uh, I'll get into the formatting in a minute here. So I will just uh, first thing I'm going to do is the uh, primary key. So I'll call it like product ID, and that's an integer, and it's not null, and it auto increments. Sorry, I just got my arm out of a sling so it's hard for me to type that's my first field so there's that's going to be my primary key it's going to be called product id int not null auto increment comma and now i'm going to put a couple more fields in this table now this is getting really long so rather than have this string with a scroll bar on it i'm going to press enter all right so i've got this big string that's opened up and then the next part of this is so my next field these are products so let's call the next one the uh, name, I guess. So name, and that type is going to be varchar, and I just have to make an arbitrary length on this, like 64. No additional attributes. Another thing will be maybe how about a price, and that'll be a uh, double. And the last part will be maybe like a description description and we'll have that be a uh, a blob blob is one of those types that you can write paragraphs and paragraphs of junk and then the last thing I'm gonna do is down here in the last part I'm gonna write primary key plus primary space key and then in parentheses the name of the primary key which was product ID so let's talk about what we've created here. Also, the thing that uh, it would be easy to forget at this point would be the closing parenthesis for the big first one that I opened up. And I'm going to delete and just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Maybe you want this on a new line. I don't know. So I created a table called products. Uh, one of the fields is called product ID. This is going to auto increment. In other words, it's not my job to insert that. It's going to take care of itself. It's the primary key. Uh, there's a name. There's a price. And there's a description and I gave them varying types so that's what the SQL looks like now that is very much a process where you can make some mistakes I don't know if it's valid or not uh, so let's get to that point the next part I'm gonna do is create another variable called uh, result and I'm gonna set that equal to uh, call it to a function mysqli query and the first thing I pass it is a DBC, and the other thing I pass it is the SQL. Now, just like every other time I do a query, I'm gonna put an or die on that. And in here, I'm gonna say bad create. And I'm also gonna spit out that SQL. In a previous video, I showed why this is a good idea. So if this doesn't work, it's gonna spit out the SQL on the screen, and I might be able to debug that. So I'm going to save this and cross my fingers that it works. If it doesn't, then we get some fun stuff to debug. I refresh, and nothing happens, right? Like, that's pretty unsatisfying. But I'm telling you, if nothing happens, well, that means that it didn't die. So let me verify that that thing got created. So here I go to PHP My Admin. Click on Cheeseball, and what was... Oh, there's the products table right there. You can see it. There's products. 
It doesn't have anything in it, so it's not terribly interesting. But, uh, and if I browse the structure, you can see there's the name, the price, there's the description. I have another video talking about inserts, but let me show you some of the finer points here. Uh, so another part that is highly relevant is the next time you run this script, it's going to fail, right? So why did it work the first time, but not the second time? Well, I'm telling it to create the same exact table twice in a row, and that's not going to work. So there's one final twist that I need to do. So this create table, I was kind of lying to you. So what you want to do is if not exists. So that means only create it if it doesn't exist. So I refresh that, head on over here, and now I'm not getting errors anymore. Oh, somehow I did my syntax wrong. I was looking at it, what did I do wrong? Uh, I, I meant to put that here. I didn't, that was just a good old fashioned typo. I refresh and you'll see I won't have an error message. And you can see I'm also not creating like a, a new table every single time. So this is just a really good idea at the point where you're writing scripts which insert and select from a, from a table. It's just a good idea to have this script at the top just so you're never in the situation where the table doesn't exist yet. So that's what a create table script looks like. It's a, it's, it seems like a lot more work than creating it uh, via the control panel, but this is also more scalable. So this is what I mean by a create table script. It's a very good idea to have these in any page that you're working with that uh, actually interfaces with a table. Otherwise, you could potentially be trying to do an insert on a table that doesn't exist. So I hope that that makes sense, and uh, you should try and utilize these when you can. Thanks for watching.